Meet Bicycle! Hello everybody! Welcome back to Borderlands the pre-sequel. So today I've got a little tutorial for you guys uh, on how to spawn and activate a little guy called Benjamin Blue. Now a lot of you may know about this guy but I honestly did not know a thing about this guy until uh, I woke up this morning, just looked through a comments on a uh, little best mini farming roots video that I released yesterday in research and development, uh, farming, uh, dot destroyer, a couple of chests, and the x stalker, that kind of thing. And uh, there was a guy in the comments called Gripati MC who uh, mentioned that I might have missed uh, Benjamin Blue. So I thought, Benjamin Blue, I have never honestly heard of him. So uh, I decided to take a look into it. So uh, as you spawn into research and development, if you run to the left hand side, you'll see all these like random animal cages scattered about. Seems pretty normal, I know, because it is a uh, you know research lab into animals and things like that within the game. But uh, there's a few of them scattered around. Here's another one, a couple up here. Now if you actually come up here, one of these cages actually has a guy inside called Benjamin Blue. So I found out, uh, you know, where what this guy is, found where he is, uh, so I decided to look into um, what he was actually about. Turns out that there's four little jump pads um, scattered around the map. Now I have seen these before and I've always wondered what they're for, but I've never honestly looked into them. But uh, there's three pretty close together around here, uh, and there's one a bit further up. And uh, I'm going to show you guys today where they are, how to, you know, a little route of how to activate them, and uh, what it all entails. So uh, once again, thank you very much to Gripati MC for further enhancing my Borderlands knowledge. Um, so, you know, sometimes you just miss things in this game, and I honestly did not know uh, that you could farm this guy, and he actually he does give you little weapons and things like that. And uh, you guys know me, I went consistently into researching this, and I'm going to show you uh, exactly what it's all about now. So the goal of this is to get them uh, little bars on the cage to open and uh, like I said earlier, to do that you've got to activate these, uh, I think I said jump pads, the pressure pads, them ones that you slam down on. Um, and there's four scattered around this map. The first is in the tiny destroyer's room. Now I've seen this one quite a lot so uh, I always wondered what it was about and uh, now I know. So when you get to the Yord's tiny destroyer, he's there, right in front of you. If you jump off this uh, little control panel area, slam down. Uh, that is the first of four jump pads, sorry, pressure pads, we'll keep calling them pressure pads. Next we're heading up to X-Stalker and uh, just before you get to X-Stalker, obviously we're going to go to the left and into the little chest room where there's uh, two red chests. So X-Stalker spawns up there and uh, the little chest room is here. Now to the left of the chest room, um, to the chests in the room, sorry, uh, there is another jump pad, pressure pad, just hidden over here. So uh, activate that, I'll bring up a little map reference so you can see where. There you go. And uh, the third one is if you jump past the chest and down, uh, the third one is very close. So head to the left through the door. And uh, before you go through the door on the left, head to the right. Again, more little control panels. There's like a big table here with like a map of the place. Right behind there, very well hidden this one. Uh, I didn't actually know that one was there. Um, there is uh, another pressure pad to slam down on. So once again, there's a map reference. Now I'm going to speed this up uh, double speed because uh, basically we're going to head towards uh, where you go to the aquarium to drain the aquarium in the missions um, right up into that room up there uh, and so it's quite a big long run around everywhere but uh, it doesn't take too long really, a couple of minutes maybe uh, but the fourth pressure pad is right up there just before you get into the room where you drain the aquarium so we're making our way up there now and uh, we'll be there any second there we go, so once you head up there, before you go through the doors to drain the aquarium, if you uh, loop round and come back on yourself once again, uh, there is another pressure pad. So uh, that is all four pressure pads slammed down upon now, and uh, that is all you need to do to activate it. So uh, there's nothing left to do now, uh, apart from head back to Benjamin Blue. So uh, once again, I'll uh, speed this up so you guys can just see the route back. Basically we're just coming all the way back to uh, where we actually came from. But uh, yeah, now we can head back to Benjamin Blue's cage and it should open for us. Now, this guy isn't anything in particularly too special, as in uh, he doesn't have any, you know, designated legendary drops or unique weapons. But uh, when you come to his cage, all you've got to do is walk up to him and uh, it tells you to pet him. You've got to do this three times and uh, on the third occasion, he will actually spit out some loot. So uh, there you go, we've got a bit of loot there, mainly ammo and things like that, but uh, there is a couple of greens, I've had blues, purples, and uh, like I said earlier, I am very consistent, uh, but we'll leave that for uh, later on. 
Uh, but now you've activated them four pressure pads, so long as you don't save and quit out, all you have to do is just run out of this area, head towards uh, where the fast travel is, and just behind that, uh, well, to the side of it, go through to the walkway to the Hyperion Hub of Heroism, turn around, come back in, and uh, you can go up to Blue's cage and actually uh, pet him through his cage. His cage will be shut again, but you can actually keep petting him over and over again as long as you run in between the areas and uh, you don't have to activate all the jump pads. So, uh, yeah, it's taken about three or four minutes to, uh, to get all that set up. Uh, and luckily, like I said, as long as you don't save and quit out, you can just keep running back to him, petting him, coming back, getting the loot and uh, doing the same thing over and over again. So pretty interesting, really. Uh, and like I said, there's no designated, you know, unique items or le designated legendary drops, but he does drop legendaries quite well. I farmed him earlier for, you know, about half an hour, I think, did quite a load of runs on him, and uh, I actually got him to drop a couple of legendaries. And once again, I will show you guys that, of course. But uh, yeah, pretty interesting stuff, really. You know, this game's been out... Well, you know, not not a year yet, about eight months now, and uh, it's not as big as Borderlands 2, and I pride myself on knowing quite a lot about these games, you know, I cover nearly everything I can within the games, and it just amazes me that seven months after the game comes out, quick, you know, quick comment down below from someone actually taught me something that I didn't know. I mean, I've run through research and development God knows how many times, and uh, never, ever saw this guy i mean he's, he's not well hidden particularly you know you've got to run past this area quite a lot and uh, there you go eight months on or seven months on and uh, i find out that you can farm a little uh, npc and uh, there you go proof that that is a uh, legendary is all available to drop from this guy as well so we've got ourselves a nice uh, leech grenade mod from him this honestly came after about the fifth run of uh, farming him so uh, pretty impressed by that and then about 15 minutes later here we go again, as you can see, you could just farm the hell out of him, and uh, you don't even have to pick the weapons up, you can pick the weapons up and just farm for uh, for money at the vending machines. Uh, the ammo does disappear in between um, transitions to the Hyperion Hump of Errorism as well, so don't worry too much about it being completely stocked full of ammo. As long as uh, you pick the weapons up, that cage will be clear every time you come back. And uh, yeah, like I said, after 20 minutes, I got another legendary drop, and here it comes now. Third pet come in, spit out the loot, and uh, hey, here we go. A nice legendary Hellfire SMG. So, uh, yeah, like I said, I like to be consistent in my farms and uh, didn't want anyone to say in the comments, does he drop legendaries? And I didn't find out about it. So, there you go, guys. In about half an hour, I got two legendaries out of him as well. So, there you go, anyway. Um, that is how to activate Benjamin Blue. A new thing to me, maybe not new to you. Um, maybe it is. Maybe you guys didn't know about it as well. If I missed it, then. Uh, quite possibly someone else could have missed it so uh, yeah there you go surprise surprise so uh, once again big thanks to uh, Gripati MC I might drop your name down in the description as well as a little thanks um, just because you taught me something I didn't know and uh, yeah I like it so thanks a lot for that and anyway guys there you go tell me in the comments below if you knew about this if you've got anything good from him as well or maybe go ahead and do a bit of farming of him and uh, let me know if you get anything good from him as well. So, thanks for watching everyone, and I'll see you guys in the next video.